I do have to say, I was wrong. Money is not flowing back into Shiba Inu quite yet. People are still out there chasing meme coins, chasing shiny objects. Okay, and that's and that's all right. If that's what they want to do, that's fine. I find it hard to pull the trigger myself on something that has said it's useless. It's basically a big wave of FOMO at this time. You know, if you guys haven't been paying attention, obviously Pepe has been absolutely crushing it. Congrats to everybody that's making money there. I did not jump in. I still do not plan on jumping in. The reason why, the reason I have a hard time doing this is Pepe already really wasn't doing much, but then it was listed by exchanges. So now you've had this huge wave of FOMO in from people taking advantage of the listing, right? That was this big run up. And look at what's happened with volume over the last seven days. It's just absolutely skyrocketed. In fact, over the last seven days, it's gone from a mere $42 million to $3 billion in trading volume per day. The price right now is only a 3X away from flipping Shiba Inu, okay? It's very, very close. But what this is done on is not even one-tenth the amount of holders, all right? That's a, that's a very key point here. There's only one-tenth the amount of holders of Shiba Inu. Actually, it's, it's not even one-tenth. It's even less than that. But the point is, is that Shiba Inu foundationally is so strong because it has such a large community, because it's been around, because it stood the test of time, because it has all this development going on, right? Pepe does not have that, okay? And this isn't a crap-talking Pepe video or anything like that. I just want people to realize what's going on. This is a essentially a huge wave of FOMO, and this kind of optics isn't necessarily great for the space, right? Where a coin that has literally on its website said it has no utility, it has no purpose, and it doesn't plan to, to run up to the 42nd largest cryptocurrency, okay? So again, $3 billion in trading volume on the daily, all right? That's, that's a very large number. That's what's going on here. Do I expect this to turn around and come down at some point? I do. There's actually been millions of dollars worth of Pepe flowing into exchanges at this time, and I'm guessing the liquidations are going to start soon. I also expect that there's going to be more exchanges listing Pepe, okay? It would not surprise me at all now that Binance and KuCoin have listed it. I expect that there is going to be something from probably Coinbase and some other large exchanges as well. Now, we could have already seen what has happened here. There may at some point here, and likely will be at some point here, money flowing out of Pepe back into other coins, right? It's the reason why Pepe is at 50% 50 on the 24-hour, and a lot of these other coins in the top 50 are red right now. Some are just, just barely green, right? But even trading volume on most of these other ones has dropped to the point where it's not close to what it's doing. She mean you right now, for example, $168 million in daily volume at this point. At some point, this will flip around. We had a little bit of a flash crash this morning. People still chasing some of these coins, and that's fine. Again, if that's what you want to do, right? If you want to try to make a, a quick buck while we're in this boring time, by all means, go right ahead. I'm not trying to do that. I still just continue to build my bag. I just continue to accumulate and take advantage of these dips because, again, these dips will not always be here. Now, as always, this is not financial advice. We don't know what's going to happen. That is how I see Pepe possibly playing out. I thought it would die out a little bit sooner, not completely die out. I mean, it's got a pretty big community now, but she being you has got a bigger one and it's got great things coming down the pipeline. So that's where I was wrong. I could be wrong again. Maybe it continues to go, but she being you continues to stay strong at this time. Appreciate you guys. Let me know your thoughts below. But I uh, hope to catch you guys in the next one and have a great start to your weekend.